Hi, Ryu here. I'm a UX designer and also a founder of Real World UX. Today, I wanted to cover this topic. Digital drawing. One by Wacom versus $6 stylus versus finger. Okay, let's dive in. I recently got one by Wacom, a very affordable $60 stylus. Let me show you how I drew a simple illustration in Photoshop based on a template that I created. First, let's take a look at one by Wacom. Pros of one by Wacom are pressure sensitive, more precise control, very responsive when repositioning. You can rest palm on a tablet when drawing, which is comfortable. Cons for one by Wacom are You need more space to place a tablet, probably in front of your computer. Sometimes too sensitive. You need to apply the same pressure to maintain the stroke width. Second, let's take a look at a cheap $6 stylus on a trackpad. Pros for $6 stylus are Cheap, no extra space required since you draw directly on a trackpad. Here are cons for a $6 stylus. Take more time to register a new position. Sometimes it doesn't get recognized by computer right away. Less precision control. Cannot rest your palm on a trackpad while drawing, which means you have to float your hand while drawing at all times. Lastly. Here's how I drew with my own finger on a trackpad. Pros are No extra equipments or devices. My finger always gets recognized by computer. Faster when switching back and forth between UI controls and drawing. And here are cons for finger on a trackpad. Less precision control. My finger and hand get sore and tired with unnatural movements and forced positions. Harder to draw a long line stably. Okay, let's compare all three in action simultaneously. Surprisingly, a finger on a trackpad took the shortest to draw the illustration. But there are some caveats. This was a simple illustration, and the task was to trace a template. So it was sort of manageable with my finger drawing if I don't care details. But when it comes to adding details such as changing the stroke width for a certain part of the illustration, one by Wacom was the only one capable of this just by applying different pressure when drawing. If you are a UX designer, there are many situations where making a quick drawing like this really helps you communicate your ideas and concepts to others. One by Wacom definitely feels much more natural and easier to draw with more precision and control. But more precision and control comes with more attention, such as controlling a pen pressure. Finally, it comes down to what is important to you and you should ask these questions to yourself. How much precision control do I want to have in my drawings? How comfortable am I with my drawings? How important are drawings for me? What is it that I want to achieve with my drawings? Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Feel free to put any comments, suggestions, or questions. If you haven't downloaded my UX resource map or prototype resource map Lite, go ahead and download those from the link below. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.